Hi guys, I've done a few helicopter and quadcopter videos recently. I'm not a big fan of helicopters and quadcopters, I don't really have anywhere suitable to fly them. Certainly not the infrared ones that need to be flown indoors. So you may wonder why have I bought this one? Well, because I can't resist a bargain I suppose. Went to Home Bargains, one of the bargain stores, and I spotted this one. It was labelled price reduced from £19.99 to £10. I don't expect the camera will pick that up. But written on the side, it says battery connection broken. So I thought, yeah, I'm not particularly interested in doing helicopter videos, but I do like doing videos where I repair things. So that's what we're going to do. But there's a little bit more to it than that. I took it to the checkout to pay for it, and it wouldn't scan through their checkout. They called the manager, and it was because the label was out of date. So he went away and got another label, and this one says... Reduced to £9. So, this one's cost me £9. Let's have a quick look inside. Let's see if we can figure out what's broken. It says battery connection. There's a, there's a red wire. I oh, know that's going to those LEDs. The power connection goes in there. The batteries down the front there. Well, I guess all I can do is put some batteries in and see what happens. Spot any instructions anywhere? No instructions, just what's written on the box. Connect wall charger to home power socket, ensure helicopter is powered off. Insert charge plug into the charge socket on the underside of the helicopter. Not on the underside, it's on that side. Just there. Is where it shows it in the picture. When the helicopter is charging, charging indicator on the charger will be lit red. When charging is complete, charging indicator light would be lit green. Helicopter will have six to seven minutes of flight time after 60 to 70 minutes of charge. So I'll plug that in and see what happens. You can't actually see it because it's off the table, but the Red light has come on to indicate that it's charging. So maybe it's in the controller that it's broken. Ah. The metal contacts are missing. We're in close-up mode, looking in the battery compartment. And if this is all that's wrong with it, this is going to be brilliant. So, got positive contact up there. Negative contact there, which is on a metal strip that goes across to there. Connecting to that positive, to that negative. That negative's on a metal strip that connects to that positive. Which goes to that negative. That's on a metal strip that goes to that one which connects to that positive, which goes up to there. That's on a metal strip that goes across to there, goes down to there, and look, we're missing. So we need another metal plate that's got a spring on it and a bit of, and a bit of metal to go across there. And I'm pretty sure I should be able to find one of them. And if I can't find one, I can make one up in a matter of minutes. And if that's all that's wrong with it, and that's what's made it half price, 
I'm more than happy. Up in my workroom, looking for a suitable bit of metal with a spring on it. Now, usually I'll be looking down there because that's where I tend to throw those bits into that plastic uh, container that's well broken. Or somewhere up here. But actually, I don't need to because I've sat down and I just threw it back here after I found it. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's exactly what I need. That's the... Come on, focus, camera. That's the opposite piece. But that's the piece I need with the spring on it. I'll just take that little bit of wire off it because we don't need that. <laughs> That's going to fit straight in there. Yeah, that's going to work. I should go and try it now. Back in the conservatory with my fix in there. I'll try some rechargeable batteries. bend that a little bit. That fits okay. Yeah, I've left that bit of metal bent up a little bit too far. But I think that's going to make contact just for testing purposes. Yeah, we've got some lights on. Most of these little things here don't do anything. Those are just plastic mouldings. They don't move. So this is a cheap transmitter made to look good. Looks like that trim works. But all these other buttons do absolutely nothing. Charged up. Lots of pretty flashing lights. This is quite a bit bigger than those other ones I've been flying. So I really want more space, but we'll just see if we can get off the ground and maybe turn round and land again. Yeah, I think I'll leave it till I've got a bit more space.